Now, when I'm searching for organization ideas and tips for my craft room, I often turn up empty handed because most of the tips and tricks that are available are available for people who have huge craft rooms or magazine ready craft rooms or a creative space that is dedicated just to crafting. Now, I think the majority of us, though, can't really relate to that because we don't have that dedicated space for our supplies or maybe we do, but it's a really small space. My craft room actually functions as a home office, a gym, laundry hanging area, guest bedroom, and of course, my craft area. So I'm hoping that regardless of what kind of craft room you have, you'll still find some really great takeaways on some great ways to save space in your craft room. So let's go straight into my five tips. Number one is use your vertical space. Don't be afraid to put a couple of holes into the walls and get yourself a pegboard or maybe some ink organizers, some floating shelves. Be creative and see what you can do. You can fit so many of your craft supplies on a small wall. In fact, this wall that I have here and one cupboard is all I have for my craft storage. And it works for me and it can work for you too. Use the back of your cupboard doors to hang supplies. There is no wasted space in my craft room. So whether you use it to put magnet sheets and store your dies like I do, or you grab yourself a command strip hook and hang up larger tools, depending on how much space there is between your door and the shelving inside, you can fit a surprising amount of stuff on the back of these doors. Even if you don't have room for a pegboard, for example, maybe you can attach one on the inside of a door, or maybe you can simply add in hooks and hang up your favorite tools. Now, I know we all want our creative spaces to be our happy place and be beautiful, but sometimes functional has to trump beautiful. As pretty as some organizers can be, they can take up a ton of space. I have this piece in my craft room, for example, that I found in an attic at our school and I restored it myself. However, all the paper in here used to fit into just five magazine holders before, which took up far less space. My solution with the magazine holders is a lot more practical, but I needed a TV stand and this piece was quite pretty, so it works for my personal space here. The same thing with ink organizers. I have mine on the wall and it makes them easy and accessible, but I could easily just stack them into a couple of piles in a drawer and they would take up far less space. Because they're over on my wall, I don't find them actually bad for space, but they would actually take up less space elsewhere. Try and make use of binders. I use binders to organize quite a few things in my craft space. I used to actually have all my dies and binders as well in pockets before I made better use out of the space behind my doors. I keep my stencils and my blending tools in these binders. And I also keep all of my foil in a binder. It's much better than having all those plastic tubes everywhere that take up a ton of space. They lie flat and I have hundreds of pieces of foil all here in my binder. It's also protected in these page protectors from scratches and things that can affect the quality of our foil. Now, if you've seen my craft room before, I have quite a few boxes in my area. I have technique boxes, for example, that I can simply just take out and be ready to go and all the supplies for specific techniques are in that box. However, there are certain supplies or themes that I only need in my craft space at certain times in the year. For example, I don't make Christmas cards from January until probably September, October. So I keep all my Christmas supplies in the storage box and it has a home in my storage closet in the basement and there's no need to have it take up space in my craft area when I don't use it for eight months out of the year. I just pull it out when I need it. The same thing would go if you're someone who makes Easter cards or Thanksgiving cards or maybe Valentine's Day. Those cards you're only going to make once a year. So maybe consider having a small little basket or bin or box that you can store elsewhere where it won't take up as much space. Now, if you'd like to see more tips and organization ideas, then you're welcome to check out my craft room tour. Now, this was my craft room before the home office pandemic started, and it was my absolute favorite craft room of all time. Unfortunately, my room does look a little bit different now, and I'll film a tour in the future. But meet me over there if you want to see some more ideas and ways that I store my supplies. See you over there. Bye.